Very good morning students. This is 9th standard English. Unit 4 supplementary. The cat and the painkiller. An extract from the adventures of Tom Sawyer. Which means this work has been taken from the work of the adventures of Tom Sawyer. The adventures of Tom Sawyer is the main work. They have this, taken this the cat and the painkiller from this work. That work was written by Mark Twain. The name of the author is Mark Twain. It was his pen name only. Let's see the warm-up activity before entering the lesson. There has always been a close bonding. Bonding means a relationship between children and animals. Studies have revealed that living with pet animals increases empathy, compassion and self-esteem among children. So, in this paragraph they have given, they are explaining about relationship of children and animals. When they are familiaring with one another, the children can get a knowledge of understanding others' feelings, at the same time understanding others' feelings of sufferings, just getting awareness of others, at the same time self-esteem among children. Self-esteem means a self-pride they can receive by familiaring with animals. So, they are asking a question now, do you have a pet at home? I am asking you, my dear children, do you have a pet at home? If yes means, what animal is it and what is its name? Now you can tell what is the animal at the same time what is its name. Okay, next question. Did you have any humorous moments with it? If yes, what was it? I am asking. Any comedy has happened with your pet animal? You can tell it now. Next question. How do you care for your pets? How much importance you are giving for your pets at the time you are growing up? You can tell the answers now. Let's see now about the author. So his name, real name is Samuel Langhan Clemens. He was born in 1835 and also he was died in 1910. He was better known by his pen name Mark Twain. Mark Twain is his, his pen name. Uh, actually his uh, real name is Samuel Langhan Clemens. And also uh, they are telling about his works. He was an American writer, humorist, entrepreneur, publisher, and lecturer. Okay, he was worked. I mean, he was an American writer at the same time a humorist, entrepreneur, publisher, and lecturer. Uh, Twain was raised in Hannibal, Missouri, which later provided the setting for his novels. Actually, he had grown up in the Hannibal and Missouri in the same places. Uh, after he started to his writings. He used these places as his settings for his novels. Settings means he used the places to write, uh, to emphasize the places in his novels. His famous works are The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Though he had written a lot of works, two major works, two majorly famous works are The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Still his famous works. Just we can get a note about the novel. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer is a novel about a young boy. It is a novel. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer it is a novel about a young boy. That boy's name is Tom Sawyer growing up along the Mississippi River at St. Petersburg. So this boy grows up in the place uh, Mississippi, River, Mississippi River near at Petersburg. It was located at Petersburg. Tom Sawyer lives with his aunt Pole and his brother Sid. So he had his aunt. Tom Sawyer has his aunt. His name is Pole and his brother Sid. He is up to all sorts of mischief. Okay. So he has been doing all type of malicious works. Which means uh, his, uh, his, uh, works, his works means uh, he is doing his actions always makes other people to feel discomfort. It is not giving a comfortable but it is just giving a discomfort to all other people. But very cleverly he escapes from the punishments that are given to him. So whatever they are giving after doing a, some wrong work, they are started to give a punishment. But however he escaped from that punishment also. He finds school life miserable. He didn't like his school life. He felt too much of bore in his school life. But after Becky Thatcher's arrival in town, he is a bit happy to go to school. 
okay after becky thatcher this person came to that town i mean in his same town a person who came uh, their name is a uh, Becky Thatcher Becky Thatcher's arrival he felt happy at the same time he felt happy to go to school also even that happiness does not long does not last long as Becky falls ill and does not come to school okay uh, he felt very happy after Becky Thatcher's arrival but that is also not uh, so i mean uh, not uh, last long i mean uh, it also ended after Becky Thatcher ha- what happened means uh, for that person he uh, he or she was affected in an ill i mean uh, they were affected by a disease and also the person cannot come to school so it is also very boredom next bored of school tom with his friends joe harper and huck runs away to an island in the mississippi called jackson's island to become a pirate so getting a very boredom from the school life tom with his friends tom joe harper huck the three persons had decided to run away especially they are not decided after deciding they ran away from the island from the island to that in the mississippi called jackson island jackson's island they escaped to the jackson's island to become a pirate pirate means a person who robs at sea after they are escaped from the place people in their hometown think that they are dead i mean all the people started to think these three persons tom joe harper and huck they had been died they also started to think like that but to the plushan shock for everyone they are getting a shock it's a happy shock like that plushan shock of everyone they arrive at their own funeral okay the people thought they were died so they conducted a funeral for the three boys but what happened means at the time of conducting a funeral the three boys entered to their own funeral okay it was a shock for the all people next the cat and the painkiller is one of the episodes of tom sawyer so this cat the cat and the painkiller is one of the episodes there is a lot of episodes for tom sawyer in the tom sawyer story there are a lot of episodes but the cat and the painkiller is one of the episode it is a only one episode okay where we where we find him playing pranks on his aunt polly who loves him very much but does not show her love outwardly in order to make tom a good boy okay so here they are explaining uh, about uh, his aunt tom's aunt polly uh, aunt polly has a love she loves his uh, tom but the truth is she does not show her love towards this boy because she want to grow him as a good boy so that is the one reason she doesn't show her love outwardly let's see the lesson now becky thatcher his friend i mean tom's friend had stopped coming to school this person has stopped coming to school uh, this disturbed tom so he became unhappy at the same time the charm of life was gone there is no happiness at the same time there is no attractive no attraction of his life so only boredom life he left so he put his hoop away and his bat so he kept his bat and also hoop there was no joy anymore in his life so his aunt pole was concerned so his aunt pole was started to feel started to worry about his life because he didn't felt happiness he felt only boringness so she started she was infatuated with the patent medicines and all new methods of producing health or mending it she was an incurable experimenter in these things so she started to treat him so he was so dull he didn't show any interest tom show didn't i mean tom didn't show any interest in his life he only stays in his home uh, he felt uh, very sad very he behaved like a sick person so she treated she treated him like a patient at the same time she has given uh, every experiments i mean experiments means uh, patent medicines without getting a doctor's pres- prescriptions she has been giving a lot of medicines to him to mold his life at the same time to give him an energy next uh, she began to try all manners of remedies on tom the water treatment was new now uh, she has given a 
medicine treatment that was no useful so now she turned to a water treatment okay tom's low condition was a windfall to her she had him out at a daylight every morning every morning she took him to the daylight every morning next her stood by him up in the wood shed and drowned him in cold water at the same time uh, she just drowned him in cold water then she rubbed him hard down with a towel like a file there is a picture for that file like this uh, by using this file she started to rub his skin then she rolled him up in a wet sheet wet sheet means uh, yes the sheet is filled with the uh, water in that wet sheet she just rolled him rolled him in that sheet then put him away under blankets so blankets blankets means bedding that keeps a person warm in bed so she did it she did these all things next paragraph yet not withstanding all this the boy grew more and more sad and pale and dejected so she had been uh, doing all the things first she had given a uh, patent medicines then uh, she has been given a uh, water treatments but none works none works the boy grew more and more sad and pale and dejected uh, when comparing with previous he was a uh, very sad when comparing previous now now he is more sad she added a uh, hot baths sit baths and the shower baths and plunks i mean uh, she added again a uh, hot baths then also sit bath shower baths also and also plunks plunks means a short swim into the water the boy remained bored still he is state of bored she began to assist the water with a slim oatmeal diet and also he followed the slim oatmeal diet also and also the blister plasters i mean there is a picture blister plaster that is called a blister plasters she also tried that also she calculated his capacity and filled him up every day with a quack cure else he became fed up and so he thought over various plans of relief and finally hit upon that of professing to be bond of painkiller he asked for it so often that he became a nuisance and his aunt ended by telling him to help himself quit bothering her then she calculated his capacity filled him up every day with a quack cure ales she started to give him a quack cure ales in that medicine he became fed up and so he thought over various plans of relief okay so by knowing his capacity she had started to give him that uh, painkiller finally hit upon that of professing to be fond of painkiller he asked for it so often that he became a nuisance so she started to give the painkiller but he has been asking for a long time for every time he asks the painkiller and his aunt ended by telling him his aunt told him that to help yourself only i am giving a painkiller and you don't bother me she aunt told don't bother me by asking it often the next paragraph she found that the medicine did really diminish but it did not occur to her that the boy was mending the health of a crack in the sitting room floor with it i mean uh, before that now the medicine started to lessen from its quantity but the real truth he didn't have that painkiller instead of having he started to just mend in the crack there was a crack in his sitting room floor so he just applied all the medicines on the crack to mend it just he was playing also by using the painkiller also one day tom was in the act of dosing the crack when his aunt's cat peter came along purring okay one day he was applying that uh, medicine only he was mending by using that uh, medicine on the crack floor peter the aunt's cat peter came along purring just making a swishing sound peter that cat came near him eyeing the teaspoon greedily which means uh, the cat tried to taste the teaspoon painkiller and begging for a taste and also she the cat wanted to know about the taste in the spoon tom said tom said now don't ask for it unless you want it peter okay you have to eat it in your critical situation not this is not a right time he so he said don't ask for it but peter signified that he did not want it so peter now signified peter means that cat signified that he did not want it you better make sure now who is asking uh, tom is asking you better make sure peter was sure 
he signified that sure next paragraph now you have asked for it and i will give it to you because there ain't anything mean about me but if you find you don't like it you must blame anybody but your own self now tom is asking that i am ready to give it to you but if you don't like means you should not blame to me you have to blame yourself only because you asked it that is the only reason i am going to give you next peter was agreeable peter is ready to have the pain killer the pain killer so tom opened his mouth and poured the down the pain killer so tom opened his mouth and also poured the pain killer then peter sprang a couple of yards in the air he started to jump in the yards in the air then delivered a war whoop war whoop means a battle cry like a how a soldiers made a sound in the war the same way he started to make a sound then set off round and round the room then started to round the room banging against the furniture i mean uh, striking violently against the furniture upsetting floor parts and also pulling down the floor floor parts and making general confusion started to make a general confusion all over the place next he rose on his hind feet i mean hind feet means back feet and danced around in a frenzy violent of enjoyment the cat now stood on his hind feet back feet and also danced around in a violent manner with his enjoyment with his head over his shoulder and his voice proclaiming his happiness uh, i mean uh, over his shoulder his voice also uh, explaining or declaring his happiness the cat is very happy then he went tearing around the house again spreading chaos and destruction in his path okay in all the places he is just making chaos chaos means confusion then destruction destruction in his path means just destructing everything on his way and polly entered in time to see him through throw a few double somersaults deliver a finally mighty fray now aunt polly entered in the time now what happened means the cat just do somersaults okay moving uh, front forward and also the backward uh, deliver a finally mighty fray and sail through the open window in that open window he just just sailing i mean playing carrying the rest of the flower pots with him just he carrying a uh, rest of the flower pots I mean the remaining flower pots just carrying him the old lady stood petrified with astonishment the old lady just stunned with shock very shock because why the cat is doing like that peering over her glasses just over her glasses she was peering looking deeply tom lay on the floor expiring with laughter just he was uh, uh, laughing too much now she was shocked she also asking now tom what on earth ails that cat i don't know and gasped the boy why i never see anything like it what did make him act so now her i mean his aunt is asking him what happened ails means pain ails means pain so what pain causes the earth to act like that now he is saying i don't know but i never see this cat like before behaving like this she said uh, he is saying that what make him act so like that he uh, she is thinking now Uh, now he is replying deed i don't know and pole cats always act so when they are having good time at their uh, when their good times comes they started to act like that he replied they do do they she is asking oh will they do like that she is thinking like that there was something in the tone of that made tom apprehensive so now tom understood about her mind voice now she understood that she understood that he has given something so she is asking yes i am that is i believe they do i mean in their good times they will do like this you do now she is asking tom you will you do like that he is saying as yes, i am now the old lady bent down and took the teaspoon and held it out now he she has seen the teaspoon i mean the pain killer teaspoon and also she held it out tom winced and dropped his eyes now tom also understood she knew that so and poly raised him by the useful handle just and poly now raised him raised tom by the useful handle and also his ear and cracked his head just she cracked his head soundly with her thimble thimble means you can see a picture there is a picture uh, in that picture there is a finger finger above there is a thimble that is a thimble okay uh, the thimble is protecting at the time of stitching something now sir what did you want to treat that poor dumb beast so far why did you treat that uh, beast poor beast i mean that cat why did you 
treat that uh, cat like that now tom's aunt was so angry now she is asking hadn't he any aunt you numskal numskal means you stupid what has that got to do that with it heaps i mean uh, she asked her, why did you do to the cat like that i mean why did you give a painkiller to peter uh, heaps there are many reason but he didn't say any reasons because if he had if he had had one she would burnt him i mean she had burnt him out herself okay uh, she was more angry so if he said any other reasons means she would burn to him by cursing or by scolding him in her words she had a roasted bowl out of him without any more feeling than if he was a human okay she would be treat him as more than a human i mean uh, that is the only reason she didn't curse him she didn't scold him anything and pole felt a sudden painful regret suddenly she felt a painful regret i mean uh, she started to feel for his storm this was putting the thing in a new light it shows a new light i mean a new light refers a new change in her aunt's mind what was cruelty a cat might be cruel to to a boy to okay now she if i punish him i mean if i punish tom who is thinking means aunt pole is thinking if i punish tom means there is no difference tom punished the cat by giving a pen killer in the same wise for doing a mistake if i punish him means uh, there will be no difference between me and tom so she was not ready to punish him she was not ready to scold him she began to soften she felt sorry she started to soft at the same time she started to feel very sorry to tom next her, her eyes watered a little and she put her hand on tom's head and said gently now her eyes watered a little means uh, just as she started to cry by the feeling of pain uh, she put her hand on tom's head she puts her hand on tom's head and said gently i was meaning for the best i was meaning for the best uh, she said that i was giving for you the painkiller to make you a best person to be a healthy person to be an active person that is the only reason i behaved like this tom it did you do you good tom looked up in her face with just a recognizable twinkle peeping through his gravity now tom understood her feelings on him so now he said that i know you was meaning for the best auntie i know uh, auntie i know you did everything to improve myself to improve me as a best person and so was i with peter in the same wise i also behaved with peter to make him as a best person it done him good too at the same time it done done him uh, good too i never see him around so since actually i have seen our peter i mean the cat for a long time in our house but i never felt he was so active so enjoyable like this oh go long with you tom before you annoy me again now she is telling uh, long with you tom before you annoy me again again if you are going to give me a trouble and you try and see if you can be a good boy you have to try at the same time you have to see yourself that you can't